today I'm going to show you how to get this beautiful makeup look. I am so in love with this lip colour, it's just beautiful. And I use my Kylie Take Me On Vacation palette for the first time to get this bronzy gold eyeliner. So if you want to see how I create this look, so I've prepped and primed my skin with these favourites. I love this moisturising cream at the moment and this is a trusty favourite of mine. And I've already gone in and done my eyebrows because I'm going to do my eye makeup first today. So because I want a winged effect but I'm not going to be using liquid liner, I'm going to go in with some tape just to do the wing shape effect. Today I'm going to be using the Kylie palette for the first time. I've still only swatched this, I use one of the shades on a client um, but I still haven't even used this on myself so I'm really excited to try this today. The first one I'm going to go in with this shade right here and do that all over my eye. And I'm going to go in with the colour Nextra and this is a really nice light brown. I'm just going to put this through my crease. And then with the fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend the top of that in to transition that. Now I'm going to go in with this brown here on the outer corner of my crease, just to add some depth and really darken the eye look. And then I'm going to go back in with a fluffier crease brush and just blend that out slightly. The trick with this makeup I use to blend. So I'm going to go back in on my lid with this lovely metallic colour. So now that I've done one coat all over, I'm going to wet my brush and go back in again with that colour just to make it more pigmented and more metallic. And I'm going to go back in with this colour just on the outer edge. Blend it in. So now it's done, I'm going to peel away that sharp wing and we can work around with our foundation. So I'm going to go in with my infallible matte foundation. sunburnt last week hand on my forehead. See this is why I hate doing my foundation after my brows and my makeup. It's so hard to go around your brows with a blending bud. So now I've put concealer under my eye and just highlighting my under eye. I've faked my whole face under my eyes, my chin area, nose and forehead. So now I'm just going to brush it all up. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX contour palette and use this shade to contour my cheeks around my face. So I'm gonna go in with my Milan, blah, 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 my Milan, blah. so I'm gonna go in with my Milani, <laughs> such a tongue twister. Two hours later. I'm gonna go in with my Milani fake bronzer in 04 Glow. Why we've changed and the 
Love this bronze bag because it has gold in it and it's a slight shimmer. I love shimmer bronze. Nutcracker palette. Now I'm going to go with my MAC Nutcracker. I can't speak today. My MAC Nutcracker palette. This is the blusher that I love to use. I'm going to go over with my elf. This just adds a bit of shimmer on my cheeks. Take it easy. At the moment, I really like to mix blushes, especially these. It's really pretty. So now that I've done all my under eye and my foundation work, I'm going to go back in with my Kylie palette. I'm going to go in with this mauve color. Now I did go over and do with the low, but actually I think I'm going to go in with some brown. I think it would just look better. So I'm going to go back in with this brown here. I could change my mind. <laughs> and that looks way better. I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush. And I think in the inner corner I'm going to go with the gold that I used on the lid. And then just to finish the eyes, I'm going to go in with this Punk and Volumize Mascara that I got in my first box last month. I still love this mascara. I need to go and buy a big one because the wand is just huge. And this is a sample. The wand's massive. And it really makes your lashes look so long. And just blend my lashes. Now I'm going to go in with my new Lix lingerie in Usia. I love the look of this colour. I haven't worn this yet. Um, but because it's a plum colour, I'm going to go in with this Clarion lip liner. So small. It doesn't even have a name. It just says the number nine. from the middle downwards, do it from the corner up, you'll get more of a rounder line that way. And you know how to forget all the wrongs and every reason. I haven't used this colour, so I'm quite excited to see. I'm nervous because I haven't even tried it on. I hate these ones though. I have been looking for such a long time to find like a purpley mauve colour for my lip that actually suits my skin tone because a lot of them they look mauvey on other girls and then when I put it on myself it looks like dark purple because I'm so fair. This is the perfect colour. I seriously just think I found my favourite lip colour. That colour. And then of course, to finish off, we cannot forget our highlighter. So this highlighter is the Makeup Revolution Peach Light one. Some makeup 
that is the finished look. I love how this look turned out, especially the lip colour. Like I said, I've been searching for a very long time to find a lip colour like this. This is so pretty. I normally buy like mauve lip colours and they turn up like the really dark purple on me and it's just not the colour I'm after. This is such a pretty mauve colour. I'm so happy. Well done, next. <laughs> And using the Kylie palette, it is amazing. There was a little bit of fallout when I was using the brush on the pans, but on my eyes there was hardly any fallout at all. And the colours are true to what they are in the pan. They came out beautiful in my skin and the pigmentation is just incredible. I really like the Kylie palette and I cannot wait to do even more tutorials with it. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to click the thumbs up, it really helps me out and share it with all your friends as well. And if you wanna subscribe, click down below and click the bell notification next to it to be the first to know when I upload.